this is me the trees. Do you know the best channel for learning sciences and scoring very high in your exam? Yes, of course. That is the Majesty Easy World Science Channel. Find us on YouTube and at www.easyworldsciencechannel.com. Much love. Remain majestic. Okay, may God help us as we learn today. Amen. Today I will teach you how to write and balance redox equations. A redox equation is a chemical representation of uh, the reducing and uh, reducing and oxidizing agents. So redox equation will enable you to understand the species that is reduced and the species that is oxidized. Remember, a redox reaction is a reaction in which there is oxidation and reduction. That's the red there is for redox, then the ox is for oxidation. So in this, I want us to note one thing. You always, uh, when you go through some of your past questions, you may see where they are telling, uh, telling you to find the value of n and also find the value of number of electrons required. So I'm going to give you the basic rules and simplify things for you, of course, because you are with Sir Majesty Easy World. We make things easy for you. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, like, and ask your questions in the comment box. Expand this science community. Much love from me to you. Remain majestic. Now, I want us to do some negative, kind of negative uh, mathematics here. When I say negative subtraction and addition, see what I mean? As far as this equation is concerned, if they tell us Fe2 plus will give us Fe3 plus, where we are asked to find the value of n, where E, E here is electrons. This minus is just to show that the electron is negatively charged. So what we will do is find the charge on the reactant side, which is probably your left hand side, which is the total charge here is plus two. If I have added to here, I'll just say two times two, but it's one. Then the total charge on the product side is three times one, which is plus three. So what we just do to find the value of n, just say two minus three. Two minus three will give you minus one. So in that aspect, n here is minus one, meaning for ion two ion to be oxidized to ion three, it has to lose one electron. This is the minus one e will give you Fe3 plus. So I take it again in another form. If in ionic equation you see that, let's take a look at Al3 plus plus Ne to give you Al3. So just give you aluminum. This is aluminum ion. And this is asking you how many electrons will you lose or gain. To find the value of N here, you just say plus 3 times 1 which will give you plus 3, then this is 0. There is no charge here, so 0 times 1 is still 0. Therefore, for you to know the value of n, you just say 3 minus 0, which is 3 minus 0, which is 3. So the value of n here is automatically plus 3. So it means that aluminum, we need, aluminum ion, we gain 3 electrons before becoming reduced to aluminum metal. This is very necessary in electrolysis. So that is the way to deal with uh, redox uh, equations, the simplest way to do it. So i give you further examples. If you are, let's now take a little step higher. In an equation whereby we have something like this, manganese 7 ion, plus 8 hydrogen plus Ne, where N is what we are looking for, to give you manganese 2 ion plus 4 H2O. So, if you are asked to find the value of N, meaning how many electrons will this gain or lose to become this? Just do as I showed, I've just shown you in the other previous thing I just gave you. So, what we do is, from here, this is the reactant side, this is the product side. Find the net charge present on each side. So this is minus, minus 1. Minus 1 times anything here, which is 1. 
So we have minus 1. Then this is plus, plus 1 times 8 will give you plus 8. So the total charge we have here is plus 7. Because minus 1 plus 8 is plus 7. Then you come here, find the total charge. This is plus 2 times 1, which will give you plus 2. Then this is 0. There is no charge in water. Water is neutral here. So we say 0 times 4, which is still 0. Therefore, the net charge here is plus 2, while the net charge here is 7. So for you to get the value of n, just say 7 minus 2, which is automatically plus 5. So n here is plus 5. Hi, my name is Sharon. And I'm Jennifer. Guess, Guess what? what? There's a channel called Sound Majesty Easy World Science And you're the best part. Mm -hmm. To make science so easy. Wow. It makes science easy, simplified, and very, very fun. Guess what? Rocky science ain't rocky science anymore. It's now ABC. Like if you did science in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about Sam Majesty Easy World Science channel is that he makes available laboratory equipment and reagents. Guess the best part. If chemistry has been hard for you, he does tutorials. And another thing is when you order for these things, they are high quality and they are also cheap and affordable for anybody. If you want to order, just look at the number on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification button down below. Don't forget to share, of course, obviously there's love in sharing. Thank, Thank you. you! We'll see you there. <laughs> okay, we take another example. If you are given this equation in an exam, maybe you have something like 2CR 2CR3 plus plus 7H2O to give you CR2 that's dichromate 6 ion plus 14H plus then on top of here there is E we are asked to find the value of n. They may change this n to x. It's a possible question. So how do I find what n is here? Simple, as I taught you in this case, you do the same. Remember here is the reactant side, here are the cover side. So your job is to use, calculate charges. Plus 3 times 2 is plus 6. And this is 0. 0 times 7 is still 0. There is no charge at all. If there is no charge, we assume it to be 0. Then here you come to the product side, you have minus 2 times 1, not this, the main coefficient, not the subscript, minus 2 times 1, which will give you minus 2, plus, plus 1 times 14. That's, this is charge plus 1 times the coefficient, which is 14. 1 times 14 is 14. So minus 2 plus 14 will give you 12, whereas 6, 6 plus 0 will give you 6. So how do you find the value of n? Just say 6 minus 12. 6 minus 12, which is minus 6. So the value of n here, as far as this equation is concerned, is minus 6. So it means that for 6, the total charge we have here is plus 6. For plus 6 to become increased to net charge of plus 12, it has to lose 6 electrons. That is what I mean by negative counting. Whereby in normal mathematics, for 6 to become 12, you have to add 6. But as far as redox equations are concerned, you have to minus. Whenever it requires you add it, you minus the same thing you want to add. That's the negation. 6 and 12. That is, if you, got, if you get plus 6 this side, then to make plus 6 12 in redox equation, you say minus. 6 minus 6, which will increase by... 6 plus 6. But if you say 6 plus 6, it means you have to come here and remove 6. So 6 plus 6 here will give you 0. Just that's what I mean by negative counting. Then, what if this equation is twisted back? What if I now bring this one here and this one goes there? So what do we have? CR2072 minus plus 14H plus then plus NE unknown. Remember this E shows that electron is negatively charged. Then to give me CR3 plus plus 7H2O. So what do I do to find the value of N? Simple. Do as I told you. This is minus 2 times the coefficient, which will give you minus 2 because the coefficient is 1. 
Then this is 14, please. Plus 1 times 14 will give you plus 14. This one will still have plus 6, like we did here, and then plus uh, 0. At the end, we have 12 here, and we have 6 here. So for you to find the value of n, just say the net charge on the reactant side minus the net charge on the product side, which will give me 12 minus 6, which is plus 6. So in this case, the value of E here is plus 6. So that is the way to balance the redox equation and find the number of electrons that will be gained or that will be removed in order to get the equivalent thing. The secret is that the net charge here will be equal to the net charge here. I, I, I believe you have watched my video on how to write and balance ionic equations because this is still another form of ionic equations. From the ionic equation, you will know the species that is reduced and the species that is uh, oxidized. So when I say negative counting, if you see plus 2 on the reactant side, then after calculating, you see a kind of 8 on the product side. For you, to, for you to know the number of electrons that the change in number of electrons, just say 2 minus 8 minus the sum charge in the product from the sum total of charge from the reactant side. You get it. So don't use normal discussion of mathematics. If not, you make mistakes. So what if, to test you again, I'll take a little bit back to what I've done. So you have, what if you have something like 2Fe3 plus, plus Ne minus to give you 3Fe, okay, we have to balance equations of course, each must be there, 2Fe2 plus. In this case, your job is to say plus 3 times 2, which is plus 6, then here is plus 2, plus 2 times 2, which is 4. Therefore, to find the value of n, you just say 6 minus 4. Simple, 6 minus 4. It means that this n here must be 2. So for you to reduce 2 atoms of ion 3 ion to 2 atoms of ion 2 ion, you need 2 moles of electron. That's the meaning. Where n here is the number of moles of uh, electrons. Okay? So I think I have made this job easy for you. So spread the light. I know this video has helped you a lot. If you believe it has helped you, my dear, share this video with your friends. Expand this science community. I cannot do without you. Then don't forget to check on this channel because we are bringing in more and more and more things for you. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for watching. You are alpha and oh.